Hey guys, this is Transformers Kid 2 back with another video review. Alright, so here we have Human Alliance Bumblebee. Um, take off my watch for this. Um, this figure um, amazes me. Uh, it's a great, great figure. Great representation to uh, Bumblebee in the movie. Um, I modified mine. I switched the waist pieces around, so now I have to rotate the waist. So I'll get to that later. But Human Alliance is a series of figures about Voyager size. They're usually deluxe characters in Voyager size, and Bumblebee, Skids, uh, Sideswipe, Mudflap, Barricade. Um, no others that I know of, but. Never know. Um, got a light. That's my light. Uh, so he's about Voyager size, huge. Um, I don't have anything vehicle move, but uh, could maybe. And the whole gimmick is it comes with a little human figure that can sit in the driver passenger seat. Legends figures are too big, but. Yeah. Um, Bumblebee comes with Samuel James Witwicky, descendant of Archibald Witwicky. No, I'm just kidding. But these things are very detailed and it's like seamless. Um, there's one seam here, a couple seams here, and on the hood, or uh, the grill, the door seams, but that's excusable. Sometimes the doors don't go together, sometimes they will. It all depends on how you transform it. But it even has the license plate and the Chevy logo and everything, the gas uh, cover can thing. So, you may or may not be able to see this, but that is Sam inside, driving. Right there, there's Sam. Um, he's very small, smaller than a legend, smaller than G.I. Joe. About this tall, I'll take him out soon. But honestly, this vehicle mode is just amazing. It rolls very well and very quietly. It was just big. Um, take Sam out, who's holding on to the steering wheel. Um, you can put him in the passenger seat if you like, if you don't think he deserves to drive this Camaro because nobody likes Shia the Boof. Um, but it definitely looks like him. You know, same ugly, concerned kind of face. Looks a lot like that picture. Um, except no battle scarring or anything. Very plain, black shirt, blue pants. The shoes have some detailing on just the stripe. Um, and the jeans, you know, have their embroidering and stuff in the butt pockets. Uh, very basic figures. The head can rotate 360. I'm trying to move! And um, the arms can rotate in and out. The chest rotate, move up and down, legs move up, back a little bit, and rotate, but if you rotate it, you can move it out, and it'll bend at the knee, and rotate at the knee. So you can't really pose him because he just sucks at balancing. I don't know. Balancing. Um, yeah, I, I usually either have him in Bumblebee, or just standing like a, like a pose like this, like, oh, I'm so important. Um, but yeah, size comparison time. All right, through there, Sean Long. Um, yeah, he, he's small. He's qu quite a bit of detailing now. And to put him in the car, you just put his feet in. And there's a hole in his back and a peg on the seat. Um, inside, you can see a steering wheel, semi dashboard, two seats. Uh, so when you get skids with RC and Michaela, you can put Michaela in there. Something funny about this seat, uh, this passenger seat, is it has a little machine gun pop out right there. That's a machine gun. So I'm going to get into the transformation because I don't want this to be another two-part video. We'll just start by bringing, opening the doors, folding out the wheels. Um, we'll take the missiles off, set those to the side unpeg these and then flip this panel up and just bring the arms out do the same thing over here just flip 
it out. Okay. And we'll fold this down and rotate the seat. And we'll flip this forward and flip that piece up. And the headrest, for whatever reason, folds up. Don't know why, but it does. Um, then we'll take this panel here, fold that down. Do the same basic thing on this arm, except he has a hand. So we're going to fold the hand off out of the seat, just rotate the seat around. There's no headrest to fold up. And just position the hand uh, accordingly. Then there's the hand. Alright. Um, back here, we'll just separate this. I'm going to break that, not literally, but strong pegs, and just bring that up. Split the legs. Now, this is kind of cool uh, the way they work. What you do is pull off the back bumper, and fold down the foot a little bit and rotate it, and then it just unravels itself and becomes a leg. And we'll fold out the heel. Now, as I said, I modified mine. I want to fold this forward and rotate the leg. I'm just going to do the same over here, and I can do too much detail. Alright. Rotate it. Um, so what you want to do to get the correct waist is bring it Honestly, I use DVDs and books to raise my camera. <laughs> Just take this, bring it out, rotate it all the way around. Just do the same over here. And now to rotate the waist, um, we're just going to fold this panel up. That's where Sam is going to stand. What I do is I bring the legs back. Um, start to rotate it. Once it gets stuck, bring the legs down while rotating it. And that makes for an easy rotation. So, um, we'll just go to here, separate that, bring this down, push the head up first, and then finish bringing that down. This piece will clip in uh, with a little TLC. Well, not really, but work hard at it. It it, it will go easily. Now we'll just straighten them out. Bumblebee's wings just pull out and angle up and back. Okay. Pull out, angle up and back. And then this panel back here, we're going to just fold that down. And there, we have Human Alliance Bumblebee. Oh wait, forgot. Flip up these panels. So, in this mode, he... Oh, almost forgot. Pull these out and turn them. Just give them that added look. He has two missiles. You can put one in the missile launcher, store one, uh, or store the other on either arm. I put it on this arm. Um... His head has some crazy light piping. Whoa! These big eyes. That's what I'm trying to get at. Um, and it has a battle mask. These are spring loaded and they will just go back whenever they feel like it. It has a battle mask, just slides down, comes off a lot. It doesn't look amazing, but it's there. And good. has an Autobot symbol on his head. Actually, an Autobot symbol. Um, go over articulation real quick. The head can rotate on a ball joint. Um, arms can move in and out, rotate, bend at the elbow, swivel. Uh, this hand can rotate, and the, fi uh, the four fingers can move in and out. The wrist can move in and out, and the thumb can move in and out. Same thing, but no hand. The waist can rotate. The legs can move up, back, out double jointed knee, swivel, and foot pivot. Um, so you can get some pretty nice poses, although I really don't feel you have to pose him. Uh, he looks amazing on his own. Now Sam's gimmicks, uh, they're not great. Just fold the seat over. He sits in the seat. And ta-da! No. It's 
dumb. I don't like it. I don't use it. I'm not going to use it. There's a peg on his hand so Sam can stand there. Uh, Bumblebee can hold him. Nah. Back here, I can flip this up. And there's a little shoulder cannon, the suicide seat. Flip that up. Some rocket launchers. And the little foot peg thing that I flipped up earlier, Sam can stand on that and hold on to the handles. And he can also man Bumblebee's arm cannon. So, Human Alliance Bumblebee. Great investment. It's about 30 bucks. Um, highly recommended. It. It's just that cool. It's just really cool. Highly, highly recommended. Go buy it. Short review because, you know, running out of time. See you guys. Bye. Subscribe.